Welcome once again to Amazon Music, and it is my pleasure to say we have the legends. Can we call you legends? Yes. You, you we, have, we have already. In fact, we demand it. Okay, it's in the, it's in the writer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mandatory. Bad religion. How on earth are you? Uh, well, we're fantastic. Look where we are in this glassed enclosed nerve center at the <laughs> beautiful Primavera <laughs> event here in Madrid. What a, what a day. What a, let's all celebrate. <laughs> I was speaking to some of our studio technicians and I'm a fan, but they are the biggest, the biggest fans. And they were so excited you were coming in. And they said that um, punk rock is not always so much represented at a festival like Primavera Sound. True. So when you played Barcelona, for example, how do you think it, it, it went over? Uh, I would like to believe it was successful. Uh, we get here because we know people. It's certainly not on our own merit, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, I don't believe you. I mean, the, w what is more punk rock than putting yourself out in, a, in an uncomfortable situation? And to play with a lot of these artists who are so, you know, so varied. And uh, uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a pleasure, it's a challenge, and uh, I relish it. It's been great. I'm, I'm fascinated with bands that go on for um, a long while. Because do you think music fans kind of appreciate longevity? I think older music fans do. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy that you're still there. So then the young ones, they, they would appreciate it when they grew up. I, I guess I'd have to put myself back in the time uh, when I was a young music fan and uh, would find bands that had been around maybe not as long as we have but at least you know for a while and they you know that that concept of classic rock didn't yet exist but it 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 gave it some sort of gravity that a band had been around long enough to uh, establish some sort of connection with a lot of people yeah yeah and also a lifestyle as it were i mean led zeppelin's a great example i was far too young to be interested in Led Zeppelin, but when I started to play guitar, there was this incredible source of this magic, and it was, uh, it was exciting to go back and look at it. So I think it's, uh, in some way, if, you, if you're less skilled and a little more brash, you might look at some of the, uh, some of the early punk rock as a, as a guideline for what we hear now. At least people say they do. I think you're being very modest because I think you've influenced a lot, a lot of bands. I mean, surely you, you hear your influence in, in many I, I do, but I, I wouldn't think talking of uh, tenure as being modest, um, you know, sometimes people might use the band as an influence and they may mean it musically, but really what they're talking about is ideologically. And as a band that's been around for a very long time that has done pretty much everything we want it to, on our own terms. That's a more important thing for us than necessarily just the art. Speaking of which, um, you both been talking in, 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 in interviews, uh, both Brian and Jay, about how uh, we are living times of uh, outrage, of, um, we, we, we have uh, uh, reasons to, to be uh, outraged. Uh, extreme fascists uh, going mm, in governments. Um, is this uh, something that drives you uh, to, to write songs that keeps on driving you for well, making songs? I, I think that the, for Bad Religion, it is the topic that, that never gets old. Uh, sadly for society, uh, it's intensified uh, drastically in the last, you know, six, seven years. And it's certainly not a United States problem. It's all over the world. Uh, and I think it just comes from fear. I think we've seen this movie before, uh, and it's happened over and over again for thousands and thousands of years. The difference is that we see everything now because of the way information is shared. And so it becomes more dire. Um, and it's certainly, uh, you know, it is terrifying, but I still believe that uh, people are basically good. And uh, I have high hopes for the outcome of our, of our latest skirmishes worldwide. <laughs> You, uh, in August 2020, you released your official book, uh, Do What You Want, The Story of Bad Religion. How did it feel? Was it good to get your, was it good to get your story out? It was fun. <laughs> you know, it was, it was uh, somewhat cathartic, you know. Um, 
we we had a handshake agreement amongst all of us that we were like, look, we're, this is going to be uh, pretty specific about what makes the band work, because we could have gone any number of ways when when sitting down in a personal interview of like, you know, what do you think about anything? I'm going to tell you what I think about a lot of things, but that wasn't really what we wanted to do. Uh, a lot of it was based on how did we get where we are, yeah. uh, and that was a lot of fun. Is there something that people get wrong about the band? Almost everything. Oh, there's, there's, <laughs> there's so many. Uh, I, I think the, the, the biggest one is that we're incredibly serious and that we're this sort of radicalized faction led by this, you know, this tenured professor out of the northeast of America. And it just couldn't be farther from the truth. We have a band that has two main songwriters who write what they feel and what they think about. And then we're the clowns who provide the soundtrack. <laughs> and, uh, you know, our, our touring is, is the, as I think Jay said this many times before, it's like the art is done when the record is done. But what people see is just us. And we're having a great time. And uh, we don't take ourselves seriously in the least. Um, and the whole point of this is to have this great experience with sharing with other people. So it's not as serious as you think, folks. <laughs> you mentioned, because you said, when the record is done. I was reading uh, in 2020, you said you hope to uh, record new music by 2023, which is literally this year. Uh, yeah. Have you anything? I, I, I just happen to have it right here. This is the new Bad Religion <laughs> record. I, I just leave that phone yeah, here and we'll plug it in. Wouldn't you know, I just can't, I don't remember the passcode. Oh. <laughs> Straight to Napster. Otherwise, we could do, put just <laughs> next to the mic. This is something that, that young people do a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah I know, let but me I'm play you my new song. But but L like we, this, hold, but with we this, with this that, hi we technology. used to do that over the telephone. Hey, check out my new song, <laughs> exactly. and you just put the phone down and play the guitar into it. So it, it hasn't changed. It's just, <laughs> but uh, there there are songs being written. Whether or not we actually make it into the studio is to be seen. Uh, it goes back to that thing that you know for. In, in, in the big picture, we could actually go into the studio, make an entire record and look at each other and go, nah, and just dump it. And just say, just light it on fire. We're not gonna put it out. Because we have that luxury. We're, we're at a place in our, in our career, in our lives, where we really just do what we want. And, and we'll try to do things. And if they don't feel like there's something that we really believe in, we won't put it out. I, so, I, I can translate, if, uh, if we don't have the good songs, we're not going to make the record because one of the things that about, was that's better English. <laughs> yeah, the, one of the things that that is, uh, you know, it's important to in, in staying relevant. You have to put out good records, and uh, you know, there's the, the luxury we have is that we can certainly go perform with this extensive catalog we have. But it does not mean that we're not constantly inspired to write new music. And factually, we just got pandemic. I mean, we're still cleaning up from our 40th anniversary tour, which yeah. was three years ago. But uh, a new record will be will be out um, when we say it is. I I did some uh, research. I've got statistic for you, which I quite like to do. So, according to Setlist.fm, which <laughs> is generally <laughs> yeah. quite okay. accurate. Okay, maybe maybe not. Yeah, not it, is, it is. I use it to see where what so we don't play the same song again. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to that, you've played American Jesus 1,169 <laughs> times in, in total. I think that's low. It might be low. <laughs> I think and, that's and, low. And tonight will be 1,670. <laughs> but how do you keep it fresh? How do you do it? It's a great song. And people love the song. And that's how you do it. I will play that every day all day because it's someone's favorite song it's not it, up for me to be really tired is. of it it's a, it's the joy of being able to share it so that's generous though yeah it's yeah just, you know what it's 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 like um if you were a chef and you and you had different things that you made and certain people like certain things that you made you wouldn't change it you would just make it like i want to make you happy it's our signature dish it's our <laughs> signature dish bon appetit but you know I, years ago brian and i when we used to stand on the same side of the stage and have fun as friends uh we we made the <laughs> not anymore the clowns we now made, i understand no, 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 but, but we had this we had this kind of idea that every night was just a little different but we didn't know what that different was going to be never play it the same way twice i still don't i don't play the song the same way ever yep. and 
I, that's how it, it stays real because we don't over rehearse it. It's not written down anywhere. There's no notations. It's just whatever you remember. And the fortunate thing is we have about another 20 songs like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm in this booth, my friend. <laughs> All hits. It's been an absolute pleasure. I know you've got to get off um, yeah, and I could, I, could, I could speak for ages, but I won't. Bad Religion, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for coming in. And we are going to, is it Beak, I believe? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now, Time for um, Beak. Yes, Time for exactly. Beak. Um, nos despedimos de, de Brian and Jay, de Bad Religion, pero nosotros continuamos con, con nuestra retransmisión de Primavera Sound Madrid en Amazon Music Live. Y os dejamos con el concierto de Beak, liderados por Geoff Barrow. Ojo, fans de Portishead. Y atención, porque es un concierto que en Barcelona se suspendió y por lo tanto... Pues parece ser que finalmente no vamos a tener el concierto de el concierto de Vic, o sea que volvemos con vosotros en unos momentos y bueno, y os decimos que viene ahora. Hasta ahora. Chao.